going to Are You Ready? I am Pastor Carlos Grill, Living Hope International. I pray you're having a very blessed evening in the Lord. God loves you. God loves you a great deal. And I hope you have your Bible ready to get into God's Word, the greatest book you could ever read. God loves you. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Dios, te amo mucho y oro que tengas tu Biblia preparada para estudiar las Escrituras. Gloria a Dios. All right, let's drink our word. Salud to all of you watching all around the world. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to this program here on YouTube. Please subscribe. Amen. And please share. Hallelujah. Well, God loves you a great, great deal. Praise God. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we love you. We praise you. We adore you. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for your grace and your mercy. Please direct everything that we say. Holy Spirit, we ask. Espíritu Santo, dirige todo lo que vamos a hablar. Que sea para tu gloria y para tu honor. En nombre de Cristo Jesús. Amén. Glory to God. Glory to God. We are living in those last days. Well, uh, just to give you information. As you know, I titled this program today, Hong Kong Riots 2019. Hong Kong Riots 2019. Uh, the, the riots of, in, in Hong Kong have been going on for well, almost nine weeks. La, los, uh, lo que está ocurriendo, las peleas eh, en las calles eh, y contra el gobierno, en Hong Kong han estado ocurriendo ya van nueve semanas, nine weeks. Uh, but China isn't going to take much more. So uh, under Hal Turner, there was a video I saw where they're already moving military vehicles are crossing the bridge from China to Hong Kong and they're coming into Hong Kong. China's not going to wait another week of, of, of this uh, fighting on the streets. It's over. They're coming in. And these guys are not playing games. These are, these are called shock, they're called uh, uh, shock troops. I mean, these guys don't play. I mean, these guys go in there and they'll, they'll finish it. They're, they're called shock troops. And they're going in there now. So it won't be long. Están preparando la China, ya está entrando a Hong Kong. You know, after that much tiempo, they're going in, and when they do, they're gonna. A lot of people are gonna get hurt, uh, and uh, we pray not, but that's where they're moving to. Uh, Hal Turner says there are a few ideas of things that could happen in the next few days. Number one, uh, Hong Kong invades uh, China invades Hong Kong. Uh, to restore order. Next, Trump will respond by putting sanctions on China. China don't really care about that. To have them in financial sanctions, they don't really care. Now, they will double down on Hong Kong and they will warn Taiwan. Ellos están preparados a seguir más tiempo en Hong Kong. El presidente Trump posiblemente le va a poner sanciones. Ellos no les importa eso. You want to see pen, in pensando in China, Taiwan, and then China will then you may have some economic collapse there. But then they will, he said, they will try to get the uh, the uh, President Xi get the patriotic feeling. They will invade Taiwan at that moment. Trump sends troops to defend Taiwan, and then that causes global financial collapse. Uh, the Chinese government has caught America, has caught America in its hands in the cookie jar, cookie jar, because they have seen, they have pictures or video of a U.S. diplomat meeting with Hong Kong opposition leaders. You remember? Does anybody think about Venezuela? We did the same thing. We were we were meeting with. I mean, that was a chaos. We tried to put our money with this guy, Juan Guaido, I don't know, and then we had the President of the United States, we had the Vice President, we had all these people saying that this is the guy. 
It was horrible. It doing the same thing here in in Hong Kong. But the Chinese government, you know, play. They're gonna go in there and they're gonna clear it out. Uh, so it could be one thing will lead to another. It's gonna affect us here in America. Okay, well let's see what we have on the board. Quickly, last days 101, the tribulation period. And one of the things we've been talking about is we're going to go into the bowl judgment. The bowl judgments, estamos hablando de los juicios, estamos en Apocalipsis capítulo 16, we're in Revelation chapter 16, and we're talking about the bowl judgments. Bowl judgments. And estamos hablando de los juicios de, de vaso uh, que va a ser derramado. Bowl judgments, which each, uh, seven angels, each angel carries a bowl and will be poured out. We're going to do just a few of them. Now, Wikipedia says the seven, these are seven bowls involve seven angels carrying seven bowls of the judgment, full of the wrath of God. These seven bowls of wrath, God's wrath uh, are poured out on the wicked and followers of the Antichrist after sounding seven trumpets. All right? So we're just going to go look at the first few. One, we'll just do two. The, the, then I heard a loud voice from the temple saying to the seven angels, Go and pour out the bowls of the wrath of God on the earth. So the first went and poured out the bowl upon the earth, and a foul and loathsome sore came upon men who had the mark of the beast and those who worshipped the image. And then verse 3, Then the second angel poured out his bowl on the sea, and it became blood as dead man, and every living creature in the sea died. All right. First of all, the first ball is like, is like the sores on Job. It's called a loathsome sore. And it's, uh, it's the, the word loathsome is the Greek word belugma, which means detestable. A curse. All right. Just like sores on Job in Job 2.7, all over the world, people will be afflicted with open Curable oozing sores. A ver, dice todas las personas alrededor del mundo que están siguiendo el anticristo, who have received the mark of the beast, recibieron la marca de la bestia, le va a ocurrir esto, va a haber como una, unas llagas que van a salir líquido de ellos, que va a ser incurable, y va a ocurrir a todas esas personas que recibieron la marca de la bestia. What are oozing sores? The medical term is impactigo. A common skin infection that affects infants and children around the nose and mouth. The sores burst and develop honey-colored crust. Or an ulcer is a, is a sore in the skin or mucus. All right. Now the second ball, we just do one more. The sea turns to blood. Looks like the second trumpet uh, judgment, right? First plague of Egypt. The water in the world's ocean. Listen to this. The water in the world's oceans become thick, coagulated like the blood of a corpse. La sangre, esta es la segunda, el mal, el mal, mal, o como mal, se va, se va a llenar de, de, uh, de sangre. Se va a llenar de sangre, como la sangre de un cuerpo. Una, una persona que ha muerto y esa sangre va a estar en el agua. When that happens, Death and decay, death and decay of billions of sea creatures will increase misery on the earth. Death and decay of billions of sea creatures. That's bowl number two, one and two. I mean, it's you, nothing like that has ever happened on the earth, but it will happen. Eso va a ocurrir en el segundo uh, tres años y medio. In the last three and a half years of the tribulation period, it's going to happen. Right now, let me tell you, what God's Word says in the book in Revelation is going to happen. Do you know where you're going to spend eternity? Do you? Do you know Jesus is your Lord and Savior? If you have to think about it, then you're not. If you're sure, if you give your life to Christ, you sure you know you're saved. If you're not sure, come to Jesus. Please come to Jesus. Tomorrow's promise to no one. Let Jesus come into your heart, make you a new creature. Que el Cristo entre en tu corazón. El día de mañana nadie se ha prometido eso. Hoy es el día. Ven a Jesús. 
Ora conmigo. Pray this prayer. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, I repent of all my sins. I receive you as my Lord and my Savior. Wash me in your precious blood. In Jesus' name, amen. Señor Jesús, me arrepiento de todos mis pecados. Te recibo como mi Rey y Salvador. Lava me in the Son of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Heavenly Father, I pray for every single person. Say yes to you. Fill, fill them with the Holy Spirit. Give them a hunger for your word and connect them to a church where they can be discipled. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you gave your life to Christ, welcome to the family of God. The angels in heaven are rejoicing. Remember, Jesus died for you on the cross, and on the third day, he rose again. And he is coming back. Hallelujah. He is coming back. Well, welcome to the family of God. Again, let us know. TrustJesus19 at gmail.com. Remember, God loves you. We'll be back tomorrow. Please subscribe. Please subscribe and please share. All right? And reach more people with the gospel. God loves you. And we'll see you tomorrow night. Shalu Shalom Yerushalayim. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. My wife, my son Carlos, we had a great day ministering. Tuvimos ministrando a los niños, a los desamparados en downtown aquí en Agasta. We were in downtown Agasta sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. All for Jesus, sharing God's love. Remember, God loves you. And live for Jesus, everybody. Vivan para Cristo. Please subscribe. Amen. Live for Jesus. Shalom.